coming up on My Hometown is Go. I'm so hungry. Gigutom na jud ko. So, mga on ta. Naimas na sa meat. Naimas na sa meat? Mm -hmm. Cheers! Chef, Nung narinig ko yung project ng AXN together with PBA Moro Club Boys, na-excite talaga kami. It's been years na may pandemic and sobrang pigil yung ride namin going to other places. And this is our only time and this is the scenario where we can bond and ride together again. Ano sa last week yung kami? Masarap. Sambag sa French o Ilocano, pangalan to. You choose. Dito sa... Naimas na sa meat. Naimas na sa meat? Mm. To be honest, I was really hesitant at first. But when I asked my wife nung kung okay lang ba, kasi hindi kami lumalabas. Pag lumalabas lang art studio or sa probinsya, yung kotse lang door to door. And sabi ko, Meron namang safety protocol. So, na-excite din. Kasi ang tagal na. Tagal na namin hindi nakapag-ride. In, in my own perspective, in my own opinion, Bagnet has, has more spices and more flavor. When I first heard about this, uh, this trip that we're gonna have, uh, I was very excited. I found out that Mark Pinkreese is gonna be there. I, I knew that with him and Rico together, it's gonna be full of jokes, full of laughter, and with JC being there, I knew that we're going to have a lot of great stories to tell. So I was very, very happy that they included me in this and to go here to LU, you know, my, my second home. All right, guys, right now we have, we're about to play a game. We're about to play Bato Bato Pick or Rock, Paper, Scissors. The winner gets to have a uh, burger. And then the loser gets to surf. So either way... Two winners. Two losers. Two losers. But for me, either way, it's a win-win, so let's do it. Are you ready? Let's do it! Ready? Uh, one lung, one lung. Right. <laughs> one, two, three! One, two, three! One, two, three! Ah, oh. Ready, go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Ah! Burger! I'm Lemon. I'm the currently the president of the Long Union Surf Club. We are the surfing capital of the Long Union LU because in the whole region, this is the heart of the heart. So here we go to the tourists to surf. Here we have the Sea Games. So that's why the people are coming. There are many people who are coming. That's what we are looking for. The Long Union is really good. When you say Long Union, it's surfing. Stay down on the board. Again. Again, up on the board. We're out for the summer While me and Rico are enjoying the surf, Mark and JC are on the hunt for some big boy snacks. Mad Monkey is a small joint in San Juan, La Union, but their burgers are big in flavor and taste. Look at this, guys. Oh, so big and juicy. Mmm, look at that. Oh, huh? But wait, this is mine, not yours. Order ka na lang. Nagabot kami ni Lisa Pure Foods. Champion tayo nun. Denzel Boss. Denzel Boss, bago siya, bago na trade. Bago na trade. At nag-teammate na rin kami sa Gila. China. China. Represent. Gilas, Pilipinas. 2015. 2015. 
Well, ngayon ko talaga na-enjoy kumain. Kasi nung basketball tayo, talagang... Talagang banta yung diet. Yeah, diet. Kami kasi talagang work, go to practice, and then after practice, we're going to um, work out. Uh, we don't have time to, to go out or gimmick. So ngayon, nung retire talaga ako, talagang solid naman. Ride, play, eat, repeat. This is our greatest pleasure. What's yours? Well guys, it's my great pleasure to show you the slice of heaven nestled right in my hometown. While it's certainly a thrill to experience the outdoors in the Philippines, it's delightful to find places to chill. See that? That's the World Travel and Tourism Council Safe Travel Stamp or the WTTC Travel Stamp. It is to recognize tourism establishment that has adopted global health standardized protocols. And just like that, we're good to go. I'm here at Zamboanga Peninsula's prime destination. Dakak Resort and Properties is a luxurious getaway and playground sprawling on a 200 hectare forest area that promenades to the Salu Sea. Vilia Angelina has the best view because it's located at the cliffside. Plus, it has a jacuzzi, so you could have like a private session with your family and friends if you want privacy. And here's where I get to stay. A stunning cliffside villa with an equally stunning view. Definitely the kind of place that makes you want to stay. Definitely. Today, I prepared Icelander soup, which is a combination of seafood, boiled and coconut juice and fresh herbs. Then, a chicken shish kebab. It's a marinated chicken breast and then grilled. Mayong hapun. I'm here at the Sikach restaurant to try their Mediterranean food. And I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. Gigutom na ko. So, mga onata. First, I'm gonna dig into the seafood kebab. I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna get some sauce. Of course, wouldn't be complete without the sauce. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sobrang fresh niya. There's a lot of spices in it to make it more flavorful. I'm gonna try the shrimp. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. The sauce really balances everything out. Oh my god, the freshness talaga. I, I love how I can taste the ocean in my mouth. <laughs> Self-love and sunsets, my all-time favorite indulgence. What's your skate? Our all-time favorite indulgence? Food! And there's no better place to go for a gastronomic rampage than the culinary capital of the Philippines, Pampanga. I love a good sizzle when it comes to sauté. Yeah. We use Madrid is more flavorful. Mm -hmm. We were colonized for more than 300 years. Of course, the Spaniards are here. If you notice, there's so many good churches. Yes. 
religion, and of course, the food. You know, the Spaniards, they will come up with all the sauces and they taught us kakapangans, right? People would say we're talking as a culinary capital because our food is mixed with Chinese, mm. mostly Spaniard. We have American, of course, because mm -hmm. we have the naval, uh, the Air Force bases. Yes. So since then, it, become, it became a mel melting pot. And you know, it's very close to Manila, which is like 80 kilometers. When I think kapampangan food, the first dish that comes to mind is sisig. So how did sisig come about? Sisig is always tri-scope. First, we boil it. Okay. And then we grill it, and then we fry it. Ooh, okay. I right. love the three steps. So when the, when the onions are caramelized, we could add now our chopped pork, which normally is the snow, the ear, mm -hmm. and the big chick. So it's made of parent. The word sisig means, sisig means to sour. To sour. The way we preserve meat at the time, when we have a refrigerator, we need to put some salt to mm -hmm. preserve it or vinegar. Yes. In the 70s, we had a mga American bases, right? You know, the Americans, when they bring in all the food in the, 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 the bay, they don't want to see the head. So, nakasalo yung mga kapapangas. They got the, the head part. And then they make it sisig also. Oh, so they had to do something with the parts that the other people didn't want. Kapapangas, they don't throw anything from the the trout, to the innards, to the liver, they cook everything. Bones and I have eaten this all our lives. So in all different places, all in different restaurants, we've tried different kinds of seasoning. But what is the original one? Because we've tried with egg. We've tried a saucy one. Okay. We've with tried mayo. a fried one. We've tried one with mayo. So to your knowledge, Chef, what is the most original version of seasoning? Well, what I'm trying to do now is more the original recipe. Uh -huh. For us, it's a mortal sin to put egg on our sisig. Oh, okay, gotcha. there you go. <laughs> no, no egg in your sisig. No, no egg, no egg. mayonnaise whatsoever because sisig is very simple. Going back, it started with, we call it old sisig. Basically, some onions, uh, the pork, of course, and you need acid, either the vinegar or the calamansi, and that's about it. Oh. And it's served cold. But in 1970, no, so the sizzling plate, it happened in Angeles City. Oh. So, a lot of young people, they don't like it, I don't, they don't like eating it cold. No need to look prim and proper when you're having a delicious meal. Wait, wait, toast, 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 toast. You should be jealous. Chef, ang sarap! One more, one more bite and then we can try the rest. Yep. Oh, okay. No more, no more oh. high five? Oh, oh. Sama. Sama. You can smell it, but you can't eat it. Mm. Mm. I needed to clap, that was so good. Thank you so much, Chef. Okay, aside from the, the classic CC, uh, my mom's recipe is the kare kare. Oh. And my take on kare kare is using macadamia and put a bit of truffle mm -hmm. on it. So it gives you that uh, elevation, mm -hmm. it gets you also the texture. My favorite is relleno bangus. Of course, the, re the relleno is my mom's recipe. Mm. We don't use the kapapano, they don't like using this. Oh, just <laughs> My mom is a lady, we will put some cream, Ooh. and it's very tedious, and you know, that's the first recipe I've, I've learned from my mom. Oh, oh wow. the original recipe you learned. I'm sharing my, my mom's recipe, I'm sharing my, my life with you as well. I will eat everything. Next time on My Hometown is Goat. Right now, we're cooking. Tilapia. Yes, my friend. Oh, I like that better. Just have one question for you. Mm -hmm. And that is what fish knows martial arts? 
Yeah. Well, it's uh So over to my right, which is your left, we have Saba trying to get the snacks. Saba, what you doing there? <laughs> Let's go! It's Gazini Ganados, and if you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe to AX and Asia on YouTube and catch more of me on my hometown is God only on AXN.